Hello, Silver Trail families. I am here with another little art project for you to work on while you're at home, learning at home. Today we're going to make a little book and that you can fill up this book any way you want. You can fill it up with pictures or you can fill it up with writing or you could fill it up with things you love about your mom and you could give it to her for Mother's Day. So let me show you this quick way to make your own little book. Okay, you need, for this project, you need a piece of paper and some scissors, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna fold our paper in half this way, sometimes called hamburger style, and then open it up, and then we're gonna fold it in half hot dog style, because it's long like a hot dog, okay? Do the best you can at lining up the corners, okay? Then we're gonna take half of this and we're gonna use this middle line right here. We're gonna fold it to there. Again, trying to keep our corners pretty straight. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side, okay? This is mostly just to get those creases in there because now, after you've done both of those, we're just gonna open it right up, okay? And you can see we've got eight segments. That's gonna make eight pages. So what we wanna do is we are gonna cut a T right in the middle. We're gonna go up the middle one, only to halfway, okay? And then we're gonna cut this way only till the next line. And we're gonna do the same thing here, okay? Now we have a piece of paper with a T cut in it, okay? And we're gonna start folding these papers. This one's gonna have to get folded the other way. We're gonna just start folding it and you can already see it's starting to look like a book. Okay, and we're just, we've just folded it on all of the lines that it's been folded on, okay? Now we have a book that has pages that you can turn in it, okay? You can fill it up, you can write, my little book on it, you can decorate the front, you can decorate it however you want, and then you can fill it up with whatever you want. Pictures, things that you observe outside, you could make a little journal out of it, whatever you wanted. So there you go. Now you know how to make a little book. Once you get really comfortable with it, and if you love doing it, you can mix it up a little bit. On this one I've made, I used decorative paper so that it looks a little bit cooler on the outside, and I added some sticker and some tape to it. So you can get as creative as you want with this, but you still have your first beginnings of your own first little book. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.